Mountain biking for Sean Palmer was just straight up insane. When I noticed that he had jumped onto the mountain bike circuit, I knew immediately that it would be a great opportunity for Specialized and also for the sport of mountain biking. I think I had a big impact on uh, mountain biking because I just brought a little bit different lifestyle to the sport than regular mountain bikers. Palmer had like a massive influence on the downhill side of mountain biking. Like, he was the first guy to, to start wearing motocross gear and uh, kind of make, make it have the image that it has now. I didn't want to look like an ice skater. I wanted to look like a motocrosser. Palmer made his mountain bikers look better. He was different. He came in and had big tattoos and was arrogant, show off, derelict, idiot, drinking. It was just not what your standard mountain biker is about. And a lot of people didn't like that. I mean, I kind of came in there still drinking and doing what I did snowboarding and was winning on top of it. He starts racing and he does really well. Some of the guys who are used to winning on a regular basis, they're not winning anymore and all of a sudden they're not quite as friendly and slink off, you know, when he shows up to the starting gate. He had a very intimidating effect on other competitors. <laughs> Palmer, he's an idiot with the sponsors. People were fucking bending over backwards to sponsor that dude. Sean wanted to get paid motocross money. He wanted to get paid the big, big bucks for setting the sport of mountain biking on fire. But in return, I didn't have the tools in the toolbox as far as compensation. Just because they wouldn't do exactly what he wanted. They couldn't put a signature shoe into the line that year. He'd tell him to fuck off. He was blowing 50 grand contracts, 100 grand contracts. That's a dick for you. He's a really aggressive competitor and I don't think I've ever known anyone that wanted to win so bad. He's just a bad dude at whatever he does really. Doesn't matter who he's competing against, in his mind he can go and beat him. I was amazed how focused he could get. The bus was fucking rad. That thing was amazing. It was full rock star status for Palmer. Mountain bikers hated him. They were all jealous. He was naked, laid on the front of the bus, driving down the freeway. Shit was happening in that bus that, for me, were the funnest times in mountain biking. Wish the bus was back on the tour. With Sean, you're always worried about what's going to happen and what he's going to bring to the table. Every day is a new adventure. It's total chaos, whether he's doing good or bad. His reputation was pretty abrasive comparative to what mountain biking had been from the beginning of the sport. I think that's one of the great things about his personality is, is you don't know what's going to happen next. Palmer's fondest racing moment would be going to Cairns, Australia and borrowing a bike in the slalom and beating the legends of the sport like Lopes, Carter, those guys that were really fast at that at the moment. He went out there and smoked them in the slalom race and then the next day he goes on and almost beats Nico Vulios for the world title. He beat him by a cock hair. Sean Palmer, unheard of 12 months ago, now one of the top contenders in 1996. Yes, will Sean Palmer's attitude be enough to win gold in Cairns. This is the man Nicolas Bouillot rates as the most dangerous competitor and the biggest threat to his world crown. This is going to 
going to be extremely close. Got him. He's really He's raging him. now. Look at him come in. 452. Yes. 453. Palmer's in second place. Good. By an agonizing 0.15 of a second too, and Palmer's not happy. He came here for, for one reason, and that reason was to win. He won't go home with the medal he wanted. I think that Sean really did have an impact on the mountain bike community, the industry, uh, competition. Sean definitely proved to the mountain bike world that he had what it took to win races. You know, the rest is history. He really blew up the sport and uh, definitely made his name. Yeah, we're really Sean was very creative and very much of an individual. It was acceptable back then to just to be completely wasted and out of control. It's about how hard you can party and how hard you can snowboard combined. They don't give those titles away, but they used to. And he used to win them all. Yeah,